friends, welcome to my series of fun math games that you can do with things around the house. Not only does it make it less of a battle for our kids to practice our math, they actually retain more information when they are having fun doing it. Hey friends, just a quick reminder, if I am talking too fast or slow, we all have different speeds of processing. Make sure there is three dots up here that you can click on and you can either increase my speed or decrease my speed so that you can do it at a rate that is best for you. Let's get into this video. All you need is a slappy hand. I have these linked down below on Amazon if you don't have any of these lying around the house. I think I got maybe 20 of them for $5. Super inexpensive. And we use these for a lot of things. Whether you're a homeschooling parent or you just want to supplement a little bit of extra math at home, these are definitely great. I will use them for all the subjects as well. These are really great. Kids have so much fun with them. Uh, it also increases laughter, which also increases learning and retention and understanding when they're having fun and laughing. And then the next thing that you're going to need is something to write with and something to write on. So let's get into the actual game and what we're going to be doing. So you're going to want to, oh, I forgot the one other thing that you need to make. Uh, you do need to make, I just cut out pieces of paper f and write one through nine on it. I don't do tens. Tens are pretty easy. My kids kind of understand the tens, but if you're still working on the tens, tens, multiplication, addition, subtraction, whatever it is, uh, go ahead and make sure to put the tens in there as well. Depending on how many kids you have and how long you're going to be playing, I think I did maybe 10 sets of one through nine on pieces of paper and cut them out. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can buy cardstock and stuff. I just do it on regular pieces of paper. So what you're going to do here, just set them out random places and then they're going to get the slappy hands and they get to slap two numbers. And let me tell you how much fun my kids have slapping these two numbers. They love it. You can do this. I didn't say in the beginning, but this is great for math fluency, math facts. You can do addition. You can do subtraction. You can do it with multiplication. Division is a little bit harder unless they're doing remainders. Um, if they know how to do remainders, then you can do it with division as well. You're not going to have clear cut numbers in there. But this is really uh, good for practicing your math facts or practicing just the basic arithmetic, right? My kids understand the concepts. Many kids understand the concepts of what addition is, but they don't want to sit there and do worksheets and just practice, oh, here's a math problem and do a bunch of it. So this helps them engage and practice their arithmetic and practice their math facts in a fun and engaging way, which also helps them learn them better and really retain that information. So you get the two numbers. You can see I slapped two numbers. I have a nine and a four. You can play this by yourself. I have a daughter, if you follow my channel, you know, I have a daughter who doesn't really like competition. So she prefers to play it by herself or she'll play it with her brother together, but not like who's winning. My son really enjoys competition. So he'll be like, hey mom, let's see who can get the biggest number, right? And so we'll just keep playing and tallying up until we can get to trillions, right? So nine and four are the two numbers that I got. I place them down and then you can choose. Are you working on multiplication? Are you working in addition? Are you working on subtraction? Do you want to do all of them together? So I do nine plus four equals three, carry the one. Uh, like I said, this is not showing you what that means. So they need to have the ability to be able to carry. If they can't carry, then make sure you don't have numbers that are going to make them carry. You could erase it and do multiplication. Uh, my son likes to do all of the things and I'll show you in a minute. Uh, we'll work on all of the things and then we're learning orders of operations as well. Multiplication, you can see I accidentally went straight to subtraction. So I erased it and said, oh wait, multiplication. Um, it also helps you say, hey, this is where you need to put the sign. And then you could also do subtraction. Do make sure if you are working on subtraction that you make sure the kids pick the largest number first when they're doing the subtraction, unless they know negative negative numbers, right? Because then they could do four minus nine and get to the negative number. And like I said, you can add them. You could do one out by one. My son likes to do a running tally. He likes to add all of the operations together. So oftentimes he will go in and he'll pick, you know, 10 different numbers. And then we'll do something like this where I 
get the 10 numbers and I make this big long math problem and he can work on orders of operations. So this is a really good way to work on math fluency, to work on ways to uh, your math facts, math fluency, and just basic arithmetic practice in a fun and engaging way. Like I said, this is a series, so do make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll link the playlist of other math fun, fun math uh, games down below.